Bill's volcano. I can see all the way to the big pond. But I don't see a picture of our species in here. Ooh, I can see way ahead. There are some trees with really tasty looking leaves way up high. How can you reach those leaves? You can't fly, Ned. Tiny, I observed that Ned's front legs are really long, so I have a hypothesis. Maybe Ned's front legs can help him climb up high. But how can we test that? Here come the leaves! Watch this! These leaves are tasty. Buddy, your hypothesis was right. Ned used his legs to reach the leaves. He's amazing! <laughs> Thanks! Well, let's keep touring the train. Have you guys ever been in a caboose? You know, the small car at the end of the train? The caboose? Never! Can we go? Right through those doors. You guys go ahead. I'll meet you there. What well, took you so long? Ed, where did you come from? I never left the observation car. <laughs> Boy, your net comes in handy. Yeah, long necks are great. Ah, Tiny and Buddy and Ned. Welcome to the caboose. This is where we Trodons like to take a tea break. Wow, look at all these knobs and switches. What are they for? I'll show you. Look at this one. If you turn this knob, it changes the sound of the train's whistle. What? Really? Go ahead and try it, Tiny. Hey, look. There's a quadruped, like Ned. One, two, three, four. Four legs. Now pull down on the chain. <laughs> Tiny, remember our special task? To find a picture of our species. There's a T-Rex. There's a picture of a pteranodon. It kind of looks like me. I bet it'll sound like me. <laughs> it does sound like me. Good job exploring, Buddy and Tiny. And congratulations, you each found a picture of your species. Cool. Dinosaur Once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, oh, one by one, her kids pop.